right, all right. So yeah, we're pretty much there with this kind of playable, playable pawn character. I've called mine BP Master Owl. All you gotta do really is just make sure that your game is like initiating as this Master Owl. Uh, so what you can do, you can go into your world settings and select your game mode. Uh, this could be set to none and you can't really change it. So you could either create a, you could create a new game mode if you want. Um, call this, I'll call this one Balky Game Mode Test, all caps. Big, big and here you just change this default pawn class to your master master owl wicked with that set you might also want to have this auto possess player uh, check in your master owl so your player zero which is your first player is automatically going to become this master owl now when you hit play you have those controls oh my god um, just to double check, just a really good indicator that you're doing things right. Use this one as an example over here in the viewport. We've got our cine cam capture thing here. If we delete that owl capture, the camera turns back into a regular looking camera. Control Z that. When you add on that, you know, capture component, it will automatically turn into an off world camera. Very cool. So that's a sign that you're doing things right. You've added the capture to a regular cine cam. So yeah, so we've now got this BP Master Owl pawn that we've created in our world settings. That is set as the default pawn class. So when you start the game, you're gonna be this blueprint that has this turning control. And because of our level blueprint being all hooked up, when you press the one, two, three keys, when you press the different keys for different camera shots, still gonna attach actor to actor. Gonna take on the location of this cine cam but we've got the uh, movement, the mouse rotator movement that we coded in to our master owl blueprint. So you hit play, got your controls, you can move, press one, first camera angle, two, second camera angle, but I've still got my controls because I'm just taking on the position of the camera. Three, got this one. We've now got dynamic controls on our camera shots. Um, you can now like find your camera angle that you want uh, like this. Press Shift F1 and you're free to roam. Sort of banks that camera angle. Your stream's always going to come out from that angle. Yeah, so super useful for just tweaking, tweaking your shots. You could add in scroll wheel to zoom, scroll wheel to change focus pulls. You could add like a button for camera shake if you wanted to. Now that we've turned this into a pawn, it's a controllable thing. It's open to all sorts of controls and it's all going to carry over into your streams, into your OBS and stuff. Um, so here's an example. This is all hooked up with off-world live cameras. So you press one, I'm now a frog. Press three, I'm back to here. I can't remember what it is to fly. <laughs> I can't remember how I fly. But yeah, I got one control here, one control here, and another control here. And that's all being streamed out live. But if we check out the blueprint for this level, uh, all I'm doing instead is same thing on a button push, get a reference to the player controller. And instead of that, attach actor to actor, I'm just using possess. So player controller is possessing first person character. Press one, uh, it's gonna possess third person character. So super sick, that possess, that possess function is really, really useful. Just like the attach actor to actor, but it's about taking on the controls of another actor. That's my third person character there. So yeah, that's one way to do it. Um, I'm just gonna show you now a bit of an easier way to do it, uh, which you might have worked out already, but um, if, you're, if you're not wanting to change characters and stuff, and you know you just want one character, but you wanna look down the perspective of that character, you might have worked it out already, but I'll just show you an easy hack for uh, adding the owl capture component to absolutely anything that has a camera already. Let's do it. Bye.